yeah, it is hard to differentiate. There's so many variety of chiropractic and that's great because no, no patient needs the same treatment. Not all patients could see me. That just wouldn't work. <laughs> they don't want me. You know, I'm only good for a certain population. Something else that I've noticed actually is even if you do a simple Google or Yelp search of chiropractors, there's so many that pop up in the majority of the cities that you go to, right? Is it hard to differentiate? I think as a patient, it's very hard to differentiate. I get that question all the time when my patients move to a new city and they're like, how do I find someone like you? And I even have a hard time figuring that out. Um, but I think there's certain keys on what questions to ask and what to listen for as a patient. If you're looking for passive care, then that three times a week for six weeks, two times a week for eight weeks, one time a week for 12 weeks is great for you. But if you're looking for active care, what you wanna listen for is that they wanna get you better and help you stay better, that they're looking to give you tools to make you better, rather than you have to come and see us, follow our treatment plan and fit in our box. So it depends on what you're looking for as a patient to what to look for. But yeah, it is hard to differentiate. There's so many variety of chiropractic and that's great because no, no patient needs the same treatment. Not all patients could see me. That just wouldn't work. <laughs> they don't want me. You know, I'm only good for a certain population. How does that process kind of work out? Do they reach out to you? Do you reach out to them? How do you guys kind of find each other as chiropractors? So you mentioned earlier in your social media, and that is a big piece of what I do because I'm always on all of the different social media platforms just, just helping. So someone's like, oh gosh, you know, I don't know how to do patient retention or reactivations. I'm so confused. What do I do here? And I'll just make a quick video and send it to them. Um, I've got a Patreon website that helps a lot so that people can go to my Patreon website, become a subscribing member, and have a whole myriad of ways to fix the practice, upgrade the practice, increase income, blah, blah, blah. And also lots of treatment tools because sometimes they just need a better adjustment for what they do. They just need a better tool to get the patients better and they just need the better verbiage around that tool so the patients know what's going on. So it's kind of a mixture. Most people reach out to me once they've seen me on some kind of platform or something. Um, but I do reach out if someone looks like they really need help. And I'm like, hey, let's have a phone call. You know, I never charge for phone calls. I'm always like, hey, let me help. What can I do? Because I think if you're of service, um, I mean, the world's just a better place. Mm -hmm.